Whoa! Oh. Oh, delicious sugary cereal. Welcome back to the Papa Meat channel. How you doing, how you doing? Today we're doing something actually really delicious. We're gonna be tasting and ranking all of the cereals. All the big cereals. I know there's a bunch out there, but these are like basically the main ones. And something kind of cool is upstairs in my room waiting for all the mascots and I'm kind of gonna go reveal later which one I think is best. So they're all eagerly up there waiting. A knock at the door this early in the morning? What is it, eight o'clock? What the hell? Whoa! Ted Bundy? <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer? Uh -oh. John Wayne Gacy? The Zodiac Killer? And the BTK Killer? Okay. Now, you guys are a bunch of pieces of sh What the hell are you even doing here? We're here to help rank some of these cereals, Hunter. We might be able to help you out here, bud. We're gonna kill every mascot that doesn't win. Okay, well that's a lot more, uh, that adds the stakes a lot more. Now I feel bad, now I feel like I, there's a really a lot riding on this. Should we go tell him or no? No! No, 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 I wouldn't do that, no. I want it to be a surprise. Okay, well I guess not. Well, good luck guys up there. So, what we're gonna do is break these into rounds. We're not, you know, we might try to specialize them or put them into categories, but at the end of the day, we're gonna have to try them all, so it might be random. So if anything, without further ado, let's get into our first round. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Factor. Are you looking to eat healthier but don't have the time? <laughs> well, Factor is here for you. Factor is a subscription service that brings nutritious meals to your door. They are ready to eat right out of the packaging. All you need is two minutes to heat, eat, and enjoy. During the week, it's hard to keep up with everything. I get it, so I suggest that you skip the grocery lines, you skip the prep work or the cooking fatigue, and you just get Factor. With over 35 meals to choose from each week, and specialty options like keto, calorie smart, and vegan, you're sure to find a dish that works for you. I like Factor because it's fast and flexible and I'm a fat piece of shit and it gives me healthy options to keep trim. You can change your order up at any time and there's no hassle. You're always gonna want good food and when you're short on time or need a break, choose Factor. So head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code POPAMEAT50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for life. Two free wellness shots from the three available flavors for every order while you're an active subscriber. Thank you so much to Factor for sponsoring the video and back to the video. All right, round one. We have Honey Nut Cheerios, Honey Smacks, Rice Krispies, and Golden Crisp. So the first four starting off, if, if anything, the Honey Nut Cheerios, it just makes me think of my grandparents' house. Eating Cheerios and stuff like that. And Rice Krispies, I mean, I can't even remember the last time I had an actual bowl of Rice Krispies versus just like a Rice Krispies treat. I don't think I've ever had Honey Smacks in my life. That frog, dig him, dig him is way, I don't like his 90 sideways cap, fuck this guy. Our executioner for this round is going to be John Wayne Gacy. Who who was a terrible person who killed people and buried them in uh, in his backyard and under his house. Isn't that right, John? Yeah, that's right, Hunter. <laughs> Okay, lovely. So what we're gonna do here is just go through and let's just, I mean, let's just try them out. First off, I guess, should we do a, a taste where the dry taste test? Mmm, oh my, what the fuck? That's fucking good, dude. We are using generic vitamin D whole milk, even though I will be honest, I am a skim milk kind of man. Just wanna put that out there. I know some people say skim milk is gross, but I, I, don't, I don't believe so. I, I don't agree. Everyone knows the rules, one bite. Everyone knows the rules, one bite. Let me, actually, before I dive into this too, do I like the bumblebee as the mascot? I remember always hate, I hated this little motherfucker flying around in commercials. I don't know why I had such a vendetta against him, honestly. I just, I hate, he always had that drippy ass honey comb, like the honey wand or whatever the fuck it was. Also, I mean, I guess they're O's, but it's pretty fucking boring looking cereal too, right? Damn. That's fucking good. You know what's kind of nice about that? It's whenever you bite into it, your tongue kind of scrapes the hole a little bit. It's a fun little texture that goes by. Those are good, what the fuck? I remember always making fun of my grandma. She'd be sitting there like, Do you want some honey nut cereals? I'll bet, get that shit away from me, old bitch. I was like, Grandma, when the fuck are you gonna get some cocoa pebbles up in this bitch? What the fuck is going on? Should've listened. That shit fucking rules. Honey smacks, I gotta... I thought these were almonds. Don't these look like peanuts or almonds? These look like circus peanuts. Oh. Oh, I don't think I like that. It's like styrofoam. Do it tastes like it's packing peanuts. I'm like legit, like seriously, here. Try something that does not have like a packing peanuts feel to it. Hmm. Isn't that fucking weird? Oh yeah. That's odd. I don't know if I like that one bit. The box is fun. It's obnoxiously big. Well, it is family size, but still. I don't know if I like Diggum the Frog. I don't know how much I get down with Diggum, Diggum Frog. Have fun with Diggum. That's what it says on the back. 
Have fun with dig them. God, I haven't looked at the back of like a cereal box in forever when you had like the little puzzles and stuff like that. I'll tell you what though, the fucking font, that smacks, that's sweet. Cool, I'm done with that one. <laughs> it's like there's sugar and it's sweet, but it's like biting into a mattress. I don't like it. I don't care for that very much. Rice Krispie treats. Dude, the fucking elves. Why do the elves look so different now? They've changed the elves, right? Don't they look like the guys from Queer Eye from the Queer Eye show? They used to be way more cartoony. They, these motherfuckers look effeminate. <laughs> They're dancing around. One of them's fucking doing like a basketball spin with a strawberry. It looks like clip art. It looks like, seriously, the Queer Eye guys. Good show, they did a season in Kansas City. I knew one of the people that was on it and I just found out how fake the show was, it was pretty funny. But yeah, I know the big thing was snap, crackle, and pop, which it's like, is that supposed to be a plus that I can hear that? Well, I guess let's listen to it. Snap, crackle, and snap, pop. Crackle, snap, crackle, and pop. Crackle, and snap, pop. crackle, and pop. Snap, crackle, and pop. Snap, crackle, pop. Oh, I forgot to do it. This is still dry on top. It tastes like nothing. It tastes like legit, like rice. Like, yeah, there's like a little bit of sugar to it, but it tastes like, honestly, like, oh, it's like, you're just like clumps and falls. It doesn't like drop gracefully. It's just like, eh. it's like oatmeal. Like, it's fine. It, it's, I don't know, man. The texture is really fucking me up, honestly. It's either oatmeal or it's mashed potatoes. It's not sweet enough like Smackums where they're serving you plastic, but they dump enough sugar in it to where you're like, oh, it's sweet. This one's just like, it tastes like nothing. It almost tastes like a healthy food cereal or something. Like it kind of has that vibe, I don't know. Last up, I have never had Golden Crisp in my life, but I'm not gonna lie, that bear rules. Sugar bear. I just like how his shirt says that, sugar bear. That's who I am, motherfucker. Look at that. This guy's chill as, f I, I know right now this guy's chill as fuck. I hope he's good. Can't get enough of that golden crisp. Keeps me going strong. I like how they just use the same face for each one too. They couldn't just be like, hey, maybe we'll do a different smile. Nope, same one. That's his iconic smile. That is his iconic smile. Let's see, dry run here. Weird, almost tastes burnt. Like a weird burnt taste, that's odd. Aesthetically, they're nice. Oh, they kind of look like honey smacks. Yeah, they're the, like the same. Except these are like, you can tell there's like definitely some like plasticky sugar glaze on it. That looks like a bowl of peanuts. This looks like a bowl of like roasted peanuts. That has that kind of vibe. All right, good luck, sugar bear. Good luck, sugar bear. It's better than honey smacks. I can tell you that much. Not bad. Can I, can I go slit their fucking throats now? <laughs> Just give me a second. Oh, I want to fucking kill him so bad. Ah. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, dude. So aggressive. I mean, I don't know, man. Obviously, Honey Smacks and Rice Krispies are not winning this. Golden Crisp, though, I don't know. Tell you what, these Cheerios have been sitting in this milk for like, what, two minutes? And this, I mean, it, it completely changes my perspective on the whole situation. Good or bad? It looks soggy. It's not good? No. Oh, God. <laughs> It's like sad to look at. You know what? Damn, this is close. Too much cereal. That's why I gotta go with the one bite. You know what? The winner of this round, Honey Nut Cheerios. It's pretty fucking simple and nice, actually. I, I mean, I like it. It can help lower your cholesterol. <gasps> Me and John need that, because John, you're a big fat fuck, aren't you too? Yeah, I guess I am a big little piggy. Wow. Well, congratulations to the Honey Nut Cheerio. What, what, is, what is he? Just a bee? The Honey Nut Cheerio bee. Congratulations. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, die, you fuckers! Die! Die! <laughs> what is that sounds, that's haunting. I don't know what just happened up there, but hopefully, uh, I have a feeling he killed the fucking honey bee, too. Hopefully. Hey, leave the honey bee alone! He won! So. Okay, well, I mean, if I did have to rank them, it'd be Honey Nut Cheerios coming at one, Golden Crisp at two. The problem with these is they're both unpleasant. I guess I give Rice Krispies over Honey Smacks because there's two things aesthetically I like about it more. The Rice Krispies are funner to look at because the Honey Smacks, they look like, it just looks like peanuts and they taste like packing peanuts. So there you go. But also I like the effeminate little elves over dig them, dig them. He's too fucking green. I don't like how happy he is. Also, he has like apple bottom jeans on. I don't know if you can see the stitching. That should taste me back to like Jersey Shore days when girls were wearing apple bottom jeans and shit. The Akon song, remember that? Apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur. But yeah, no, that's it. Next, next round. <laughs>
The next round is kind of boring old people cereal. We got Corn Flakes, Frosted Flakes, and Raisin Bran, which I'm gonna try to be as unbiased as I can because let me tell you something, I fucking love Tony. I'm a big Tony the Tiger fan, dude. He's a good man. The way he says they're great. You know what? I like him. I like his red stupid fucking scarf. Or his apricot? What is it called? An ascot. An ascot. Apricot. Pretty sure that's a fucking fruit or something. Okay, so first up we have Corn Flakes, which Corn Flakes, you know what's weird too about the Corn Flakes thing? Well, that's not bad. It's like generic, but it's fine. It's nice. Cornflakes is a fucking old cereal. A bowl of cornflakes, people say that. On the back though, it shows how to do crispy chicken tenders. So it's like, are we, do you want me to eat this with milk or are we making chicken? What the fuck are we doing here? Kinda of look like almost like little Frito-Lays chips, huh? Kinda of sounds like I'm like foraging for fucking like, foraging for berries or like mushrooms or something like that. It sounds like Minecraft, you're digging gravel. It's like the most inoffensive cereal I've ever had. It's not really good or bad. I just feel like a working man. Like, I feel like I belong on a farm. Eat my bowl of cornflakes and go out on the field and start out the tractor and start working. That's what it feels like. Really, I'd have to dislike the other two to have that one win, but it's not, I wouldn't say it's bad though, but, uh-oh. It <laughs> doesn't really smell like anything, okay? <laughs> Next up, my boy Frosted Flakes, Tony, the big boy. Okay, well, this is like, this is literally cornflakes, except they just put a ton of sugar on it. So that, I don't know how, I don't know how fair that feels. Mm, damn, pretty good though, huh? Throw a little sugar on anything and it's magic, my God. Crispy. It's cornflakes with sugar, I mean, it's okay, I guess. Honestly, for how Tony says, they're great! I think you gotta overhype some bit, honestly. I, I know as fucked up as that is to say, but I don't know. Pretty mediocre. Yeah, and then last but not least, which is funny is that all of these are the Kellogg's ones and they are all using the Corn Flakes recipe. Like even Raisin Bran, heart healthy, huh? That's a great fucking logo. A great mascot, the sun holding the two things of raisins. Oh, I don't know if I like that. The Bran, what is Bran? Just a high fiber like wheat thing? It tastes like a pumpernickel. Oh yeah, I think that's pumpernickel. Oh, also the executioner for this round is Jeffrey Dahmer. Sorry, Jeff, I forgot to shout you out. I don't hold it against you. I'm a pretty forgettable guy. <laughs> Nothing really extraordinary about me. It's easy to forget old Jeff, old Jeff Dahmer. It makes you feel better. You're gonna kill someone soon, so, you know. Oh, yep, there you go. Yep, oh, yeah, yeah. Let me make sure I get a raisin in here. Cause maybe that's the missing thing is the brand tastes bad, but with a raisin, it's this is fucked up. First off, I just want to say I love raisins. Love them. I love raisins. My boy is chewy, goddamn. The winner is Frosted Flakes. They're all fine, but this is like what I expect. Like this is just in my mind what a cereal is or what it should be. I'd probably say Raisin Bran and then Corn Flakes. I just like raisins too though. So nothing against Raisin Bran or Corn Flakes. I just, you know, this is just too classic. Also, it's just Tony the Tiger. He's a fucking, he's a legend. He's on Mount Rushmore. He's up there with all the other mascots. He's, he's definitely one of them. So Jeff, do you want to, oh, he's already gone. Okay. Oh yeah, oh fuck, oh got a body later, but a body. I'm killing you and I'm gonna turn you into a zombie and take pictures of your dead fucking body. Okay, well, next round, I guess. Next up, we have the berry round. I mean, pretty much here, I mean, some of them are berry, you know, I mean, Lucky Charms don't know how much berry Lucky Charms is, but basically all the cereals, we got Apple Jacks, Fruit Loops, Captain Crunch Berries. I know that's like the, I think that's the most popular one. And then Tricks and then Lucky Charms, which these, this is, this is a pretty fucking heavy hitter round. I mean, the big ones are Fruit Loops, Tricks and Lucky Charms, and even Captain is one of the most iconic. Apple Jacks is delicious, but even looking at this, I mean, there's some questionable things I have, but without further ado, let's get into it. Starting with Apple Jacks. And also this round's executioner is going to be Ted Bundy. You know what's weird is people said he was like sexy. Back in the 60s, this is what sexy looked like. You got that right, you fat fuck. I'm the sexiest of all the serial killers. <laughs> I would have killed in the 60s. I would have done pretty good. If I would have lost some weight, kept my unibrow, oh man. I would have cleaned up shop in the 60s. Not that I would have killed people and uh, it doesn't matter, but. I bet you eat people because you're so fucking fat. Okay. The mascots are waiting upstairs. Wave hello mascots. Okay, there we go. So first off, Apple Jacks. Let's start off. I tell you what, aesthetically, it's pretty nice. They're like little spongy orange and green donuts. There's something nice about the simplicity. A little two-tone color. You know what's the thing is I know these are gonna be good because since the dawn of time, they've been giving this shit to children. Not even in bowls, they're just like here, they like dump it up like, there you go, have, there you go, sweetheart. And the baby's like, they do that fucking annoying baby thing where they're like, 
to do that. I fucking hate when kids do that, dude. It always grosses me out. I feel bad for doing that. I'm just gonna clean it up real quick. God, there's a lot of sugar and dust on this. Oh my God. This is the biggest fucking conspiracy I've ever seen. Back when I was younger, he had like a hat and dreads and he was Jamaican and he'd say, give me that cinnamon. Because the taste of sweet cinnamon is the cinnamon. <laughs> and as a child, I'm like, yeah, whatever. I could see how that could be racial. <laughs> a bit racially charged. But I also remember the apple was really grumpy. They were kind of like enemies. Kind of like a Roadrunner Coyote situation is what it felt like. And to see this, is, it's, I feel terrible. I feel like it's, god damn, they really, they dumbed this shit down 100%. Add some milk and let's see how this bitch tastes, dude. Also, the, another thing too is they taste really good dry and they're good cereals, but if you leave these in the bowl too long, they, it's, a, it's terrible. Like this does turn into disgusting mush. I mean, goddamn, dude. It's what you know and love. You know what I mean? I would be fucking hard pressed to say this isn't a good bowl of cereal. Simple, efficient, the texture's great. It has a nice crunchy taste to it with those. I mean, Apple Jacks fucking rules, honestly. Really, the biggest complaint I had is that cinnamon isn't there anymore. I want my cinnamon. I thought he was dope. I don't know. Okay, next up, Toucan Sam with his fucking dumbass, uh, follow your nose. That was the big thing. So I must follow my nose wherever it goes. Follow your nose. And he had like other birds. They tried making like a series of commercials where he was like running away. I think that they had like commercials where it was like the fucking rainforest was burning down or something. It was, it was crazy. I remember as a kid, I was like, what's going on? I'll tell you what though, how about them fucking colors though, huh? These bitches pop, oh my God. This has to be the exact same shape as the Apple Jacks, right? I mean, these are the exact, even the thickness of them are the exact same. Isn't that crazy? Are these the same? Is it, are they both? Yeah, they're both Kellogg's. So that's definitely the same thing. They're just dusting the Fruit Loops. Okay, that makes sense. So, hmm. I was never the biggest Fruit Loops fan because it tastes, it like tastes too artificial. You know what I mean? Like it's like, it's like it's good, but it's also bad at the same time. I can't discernibly be like, you're bad or you're good. Good source of nine vitamins and minerals, fuck off. You're gonna get your daily vitamins with this for sure. I feel like I'm in like elementary school. I don't know, dude. It's not good, it's not bad. It just makes me like, it just, it tastes like memories. As good. fucked up as that is. Good memories? Yeah, probably good memories. Hopefully no suppressed memories. It should be good memories, I don't know. It's like, oh, it tastes pretty- Oh God. Oh. Ted, stop touching yourself, come on. Oh, this is what I did all the time. Seriously, read about it. <laughs> There's tons of books that say I did this. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Accurate Ted Bundy moment. Ooh. Jesus Christ. I'm trying to eat fucking cereal here, man. Come on. Absolutely disgusting. I don't know. I mean, you can't stand though. What a, you know, come on. That's a fucking icon if I've ever seen one, right? He's like on the Mount Rushmore of cereal brand stuff. I don't know. It's kind of indifferent at the moment. Next up, we have Captain Crunch, who also might arguably be my favorite cereal mascot design. The cat that just rules, dude. There's a lot of elements to Captain Crunch that I like. You have the name. It's synonymous with the cereal too. Got the nice Captain Crunch kind of thing. Almost sounds like a, I don't know, just a fucking like a cool guy. This is the Captain Crunch Berries because everybody says this one's the best, so let's see. I just do not see the appeal. God, I'm like cutting my gums. It's like fucking razor wire in your mouth. You need milk with that shit. You do need milk. Yeah, let me get some milk in real quick. Apple Jacks and Fruit Loops out of the box smell like heaven. Captain Crunch, it smells like, like a... The milk is smells sweeter, but when it was dry, it smelled like a camel. I don't know how I know that. I'm just saying like, that's what I imagine a camel smells like. Let me get some of the berries in there. You definitely do. The milk helps. Yeah. Cereal, I feel like the good balance is you want like some dry and some wet. So you get some of that crunch still while the other stuff gets mushy. I just say you gotta, you gotta douse these motherfuckers because this is, it's like a lethal weapon. This is fucked. Damn. Okay. All right, I see you. That's fucked up. It's pretty fucking good. Next up we have tricks. I don't think I've ever had tricks before in my life. God damn. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Is that not the creepiest fucking box of cereal? Look at those motherfuckers like it's crack. That is haunting. Who makes this? What company makes this? General Mills. General Mills. I don't think I've ever had a bowl of tricks. I've ever seen the that he's like a crackhead mascot, whatever, and he's always just like, please give it to me. He's like a big desperate bitch. And now I see why, because this has to be the most aesthetically pleasing cereal I've ever seen in my life. Look at that. This is fucking gorgeous. It's like way more vibrant than the Fruit Loops, but there's like intricate little shapes. It's fucking nice, man. Oh, wow. That is awful. That is horrible. Wow, that is really bad. Wow. Damn, dude. That is fuck. Maybe the milk will help? 
Maybe, maybe milk will be the cure, kind of like Captain Crunch. Oh, God damn. I don't fuck with that. It's always a weird thing when you find a bad cereal because it's, it's, it's a ton of sugar, but it's like, that is fucked. There's nothing I hate more than like really bad artificial fruit flavors. God damn. That's what that motherfucker was all hung up about all those years? Holy shit. God damn, get that out of my mouth. Holy fuck. You're b last. There's just no way. I just, that is fucked. And the last time we have Lucky Charms, they did that motherfucker dirty. That eye is way, way too far. Isn't it? Look at that. Editor, take his eye and just move it like slightly to the left and look how much visually better, like way more appealing. God, they simplified all of these guys in a terrible way. He used to look dope. He used to look really cool. All these old illustrations and stuff used to be so cool. Serial mascots are just awesome. I will say Lucky Charms though with the Y becoming the rainbow. Ooh. That shit's pretty hard. I'm not gonna lie. That's a great font. You can tell Smackums totally fucking stole that shit. <laughs> with Digum. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's right. You have the marshmallow. This was a big thing because it had the marshmallows. Let me try this shit. Man, that marshmallow, that hit you in the fucking truck. God damn. It's like, oh, I'm eating cereal. And then there's the sugar. Hello. Hi, sugar. Yeah. I can see why people just throw these. These are almost better hard. Like without milk, you could just like snack on them. But man, no wonder people don't do this shit. God, I don't know how I feel about this one. The cereal doesn't taste bad though. It's just like, I don't know. You know what's fucked up is I like, I think the cereal's fine. Marshmallows are too intense. It's way too fucking much, honestly. Damn, this one's difficult. I mean, without a doubt, you can go up and kill the Trix Rabbit. Feel free to go ahead and go up there. All right, finally, I get to go. Sorry, Trix Rabbit. Let me tell you, I don't know. The biggest surprise is I have always not liked Captain Crunch my whole life. With water, that's a fucking good cereal. Did I say water with milk? I love water with my cereal. Do you really? No. I didn't know, dude, you're a psychopath. Fuck, man. I'm gonna have to give it to Captain Crunch. That, that, that is actually fucking me up. The unexpected victor of this round has to be Captain Crunch. Here's why. Apple Jacks is good and the cinnamon flavor is there, but it's almost better dry. And then also the mascots have gotten so fucking bland and boring that this is not a fun cereal to me anymore. Fruit Loops, once again, it's better dry, but it's like the actual fake fruit taste that they put in there. It just, it's so artificial that it's, un, it's just unpleasant. And then Lucky Charms, it's like, I like the gimmick of it, of the Lucky Charms are the marshmallows inside of the cereal, but I almost, I almost just want it without the fucking marshmallows, oddly enough. They look great, aesthetically it's fun, but holy fuck, man. Captain Crunch, that motherfucker, he came out swinging. That's why he's the captain. I'm, I'm, I'm finding that right now, holy moly. So Captain Crunch wins, and, oh. I would say Captain Crunch, I'd probably go Apple Jacks, Fruit Loops, and then Lucky Charms, and of course, Tricks. Please, God, get that away from me. I don't want that. But uh, our winner is Captain Crunch. On to the next round. <laughs> next round, we have the square round. It's their squares. We have Cinnamon Toast Crunch. We have Waffle Crisp. I've never had that before. And Frosted Mini Wheats, which I actually don't think I've had any of these, but I know of them. I know of Frosted Mini Wheats and Cinnamon cr Toast Crunch, but I've never seen Waffle Crisp. But that is one. Look at, look, look at that jolly little motherfucker. His red shoes. Tie your shoes, dude. Come on. Motherfucker doesn't have tied shoes like kids don't know how to tie shoes like it's 1956. Come on, man. Uh Oh, before I forget, the executioner for this round is Zodiac. I'm not going to take the paper. He's not gonna speak. He's only gonna give me just paper. That was his whole gimmick thing. I'm not gonna take it. So have fun doing whatever you gotta do. Okay, first off, what is even the Cinnamon Toast Crunch? They're just chaotic Cinnamon Toast Crunch pieces. That's their logo. Oh, God. Look at the back of the box. God, that is cringy. ADHD little fucking cereal goblins. Okay. I mean, I actually, that's so weird. I've never actually had. Damn, that's some fucking cinnamon. You ain't, you, ain't, you ain't joking about that. That's more cinnamon than Apple Jacks. That's fucked up. Let me see this. That's fucking good. Holy shit. Mmm. Oh, I don't like that scoop. That scoopable feature though. I, the square. I don't know if I like the squares for that. No wonder other cereals are round. I don't even know what to say. You know what's weird is like when it was dry, I was like, oh, there's all this flavor. And then when I add the milk, it's almost like the milk washed off the flavor dusting. So then it just became like kind of a sweet square. It's not the worst. I mean, it tastes like cinnamon, but I don't know how I feel about that. Waffle Boy is up next. Waffle Crisp. He's just fucking called Waffle Boy. I love that. Look at him. On the back, he's in all sorts of outfits. Now that's fun. We haven't seen that with any other ones. They always are so quick to put these people always in their outfits. This is, I love this. Look, Oh, these are little chody boys. Look at this little chode. Little thick short boy, huh? He looks like a little waffle. 
Oh, damn. Damn, man. It's got like built-in maple syrup. That is fucked. This actually tastes like a, a fucking waffle. Holy shit. That's really good. I'm gonna get hyped on waffle. Let me see here. Do you like waffles? Please, God, don't let me down. I love you so much. He's stealing my heart, honestly. That's a solid cereal, dude. That is fucked. That's really fucking good. Damn! I've never had waffle crisp before in my life. This is awesome. That's really fucking good. I'm not even the biggest fan of waffles. Like pancakes and waffles. I'm really not even the biggest fan. This is fucking cursed. Frosted mini wheats. Look at that little CGI motherfucker. And look at him on the back with his like old man teeth. Also, is it racist that he's doing white face? No. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't know. It's like a bunch of folded blankets that have been dried up. They're aesthetically pleasing with the frosted part of them, but I don't know if I like the layering of that. Let me check the fucking, let me see with milk. Oh, God damn. I, the dry, holy shit. I mean, like, they're so big that it's like, <laughs> it looks obnoxious in a bowl. I feel like I'm eating a clump of like like a woman's hair. I, that, that is fucked. Are these, pop these are popular too, aren't they? That is fucked. I, it seriously feels like when you add the milk in it, it loosens up a bit so you don't get that like blanket, like the folded blanket feeling. But it does feel like, oh, like, like hair. It feels like little, like almost like when hair is underwater and it's like all loose and wavy. That's what it feels like in your mouth. That's fucked. Last for sure. I mean, is it even a fucking doubt the waffle one won? Are you, are you kidding me? What the fuck? Waffle crisp won. Cinnamon toast, I guess, whatever. And then this is just unbearable. I mean, this is an easy fucking win for waff waffle crisp. That's, this is crazy. That's a good fucking cereal. If you haven't had waffle crisp, you better give this shit a shot. All right, Zodiac. He's much less excited than the others. He's just kind of, he's very slow. Okay, well, um, next round before the finals. Holy shit, we have one more round and then we, we're ranking and then the fucking, the winners face off. I wonder who's gonna come out on top. Let's find out. Next round! Next round, which is the final round before our final. So this is the final one before we crown our fucking champion. And what's weird about this one is that I'm extremely biased. I've been eating Cocoa Pebbles since I have been probably four. I fucking love Cocoa Pebbles. The best thing about chocolate cereal is you get two for one. Delicious chocolate cereal. And then as the cereal sits inside the milk, you get chocolate milk afterwards. I mean, it's the it's the perfect fucking combo. And I've had a fair share of Cookie Crisp in my day too. But so we're going to do Cocoa Pebbles, Cookie Crisp, and Cocoa Puffs. It's going to be, this is going to be a close one. This is going to be a fucking battle of who has the most generic chocolatey cereal to, you know, who can win. And our executioner for this round is BTK, who is from Kansas. I'm from Missouri. You're from Kansas. What kind of live close to each other. Oh yeah, fucking Missouri's real fucking close to Kansas. Oh, that pisses me off. If you ever hear anything about BTK, it's really funny. He wanted to be called the poet killer or something. You have to put the, the little blurb of what he wanted to be called and everyone basically just called him a fucking loser and said, no, we're calling you BTK. And he's like, huh. Fine. But he would write poems instead of in. You're such a fucking loser, dude. It's so funny. Oh, fuck. I wish I could have wrote more poetry instead of just having to kill all these fucking whores. Oh, God. It pisses me off. <laughs> You're such a pathetic piece of shit. And it's funny. He's dead. All right. Let's get into it. I will say these don't do very well in your hand because it's too small. There's gold in them hills. All right. The, uh, it's almost like chewing tobacco. You got to pinch it like that and be like... Oh, fuck. Tastes like chocolate. It's gonna come down to what do they taste like in the milk, dude. I can already tell. <laughs> Pouring milk into a bowl of Cocoa Pebbles. I've been here before many times. Borderline perfection. Borderline perfection. The only thing that Cocoa Pebbles has for it is that they use the Flintstones. Like, I kind of wish that it was its own thing that wasn't an IP already, but I, you get used to it. Honestly, I associate the Flintstones more with Cocoa Pebbles because I wasn't, you know, I'm not 87 years old. I didn't grow up watching these guys on TV, so it is what it is. And also, too, the pieces are small. It's like a rice-based cereal, so it's thin. It comes together nice. It chews easy. It has a nice, satisfying crunch. I mean, come on. It's going to be a hard one to beat, all right? Next up, Cookie Crisp. I feel like the Wolf used to look cooler. They keep redesigning these things to be simpler and it just, it looks fuck. I will say, they still got the nice cookie look. These things do look like little cookies and that's pretty fucking sweet. Little chocolate chips in there. It's good, man. It's good. I remember these though, back in the day was, uh, you almost wanted them to be a little more soggy because they're so hard. Like they're hard and they're like really big. It's just, it's a lot to fucking power through. Still the same, dude. That's good. Mm. God damn, that's good. Uh, no, see, here's the. Th 
That's pretty fucking good. Him sucking the chuck of milk out of the bottom of the bowl and looking like an absolute fiend rules. The crackhead bird who says, I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. That's also a good fucking tagline. That's fucking awesome. Great chocolate taste. I used to always be really disappointed though whenever uh, my mom was like, well, I just got Cocoa Puffs instead. I'd be like, They're smart and they have the cocoa puffs be kind of small, big brain. Delicious. This is a hard round, man. I just gotta be completely honest with myself. Cocoa Pebbles has gotta win. I mean, it's almost diabolically a perfect cereal. It's almost unfair. I'm curious to see how it favors in the final round, but I would go Cocoa Pebbles. I'd probably do Cocoa Puffs and then Cookie Crisp. They're all good cereal. I would recommend any of these cereals, but Cocoa Pebbles, it's got a place in my heart. It's, it's gotta take number one. Why don't you go upstairs and read the fucking people a poem, dude? You goon, you fucking loser. <sighs> oh, you had to strike a chord with me, didn't you? Okay, well. Maybe I will go upstairs and read a fucking poem, you son of a bitch. I do feel bad because they're gonna go up and they're gonna kill. Oh. Next up is the final round. Which is the best cereal? Let's find out. It's the final round! Oh my God. First off, we have Honey Nut Cheerios, Captain Crunch Berries, Frosted Flakes, Waffle Crisp, and Cocoa Pebbles. I mean, there's two hard hitters here, but I mean, there's some unexpected victories here. So I mean, round of applause for all of the finals here. I mean, these are all good cereals, but it has to come down to which one embodies this like the fucking morning time cereal thing. You know what I mean? Like the finalist has to be the perfect cereal to crack open on a Saturday morning. So without further ado, let's get into it. We've already done introductions, so I'm just gonna fucking go through these here, dude. We've already done dry tests and stuff. So we just need to be re-familiarized with the taste. Honey Nut Cheerios. I'm not the biggest fan of the bumblebee aspect, but this... Damn. Simple, elegant, not offensive. It's like a beautiful, sweet kiss just right there on your lips. Mm. This is what it feels like, little, little bees like. Mm. It just kisses me like that. I like it. Captain Crunch, unironically, the biggest surprise. I've sworn off Captain Crunch ever since I can remember. And to see him here, I'm, uh, it's pretty fucking crazy. Here's the thing that separates the Captain Crunch is originality. There's no other fucking cereal that tastes like this. Even the shape or anything, like I don't really know what they're going for besides it. I'm guessing just being like a corn, sweetened corn and oat cereal. It's fucking great. It's really, really good. It's elegancy. It's originality. It's class. Captain Crunch Berries. Next up, we have my boy, Tony. Arguably, I mean, he's the best mascot here. I mean, I'm just gonna say that. He's the best mascot. He has not the most lucrative cereal, but he's in the final, so we have to give him the respect he deserves here. Uh, oh. Texture. Fucking texture. A nice sweet overlay. The perfect shape for a nice crunchy piece of cereal. It's not the most loud and obnoxious taste, but it's just good enough to just be like, hi, good morning. How are you? They're great. Tony deserves to be here, man. One of the unknown ones, I had never had Waffle Crisp before in my fucking life. And to have this be in the finals is rocking my world. I mean, I love the little chode shaped waffles that they have. It's really good. I'm not even the biggest waffle fan, but the way that this cereal incorporates the maple syrup into it. Also, I, I gotta say too, Waffle Boy kind of a kind of slaps. Waffle Boy is kind of like a fucking little optimistic gym where I'm like, if I was sitting there, wife left me, kids hate me. You know what I mean? I feel like Waffle Boy would be there to smile and I'd be like, I think everything's gonna be A-O fucking K. That's how I feel with this. Powerful, sweet, bilingual, because it tastes like waffles. A satisfying crunch, but also welcoming at the same time. He kind of feels like you're at a diner, but you're in your house. I like it. And then last but not least, we all know him, we all love him. Cocoa Pebbles here. I've already barked my ears off about this one. This one is coming in as like, this is the worst mascot by far. I like Fred and I like Barney, but I don't know, man. Just as being in different IPs, I just don't fuck with it very much. What can be said that I haven't already said? The perfect consistency. Chocolatey, welcoming, it pops in your mouth. I feel like I'm at a disco. I feel like I'm on a break dance. There's something break dancing in my mouth. That's how it feels. Also, I know, give it two minutes, I'll be able to drink fucking chocolate milk. I mean, I don't know. This is hard. I'm trying to do a one bite challenge here. And I know they're nervous upstairs and everyone's kind of wondering what's going on. So I'm just gonna go my ranking as follows. I'm just gonna go five to first. We're gonna crown our champion. Coming in, I think dead last.
We gotta go, my boy Tony. I know, I don't feel good about it. Tony is by far the sexiest man on this stage, but simply, Frosted Flakes are just overrated. I mean, honestly, they're fine. They're not offensive. The texture's nice, but all in all, I have all these other champions. I just don't know. I really don't know. Coming in at number four, Waffle Crisp. This is what's upsetting me about Waffle Crisp is that I actually wanted him to win. I did want Waffle Crisp to win because Waffle Boy, I'm not even joking, this little motherfucker just made, it turned my whole day around. I was having a bad day. Looking at this goofy, simple clip art fucking rocked my world. The maple syrup is fine. I don't, I'm not a huge, big waffle fan, but it was, it's nice. Like it tastes good. But all in all, it seems that the pieces are just a little bit too big and too hard. So it's like, whatever you, you're sitting there just going through. That first bite I took, rolled it, scraped the top of my mouth, and now the top of my mouth's fucking bleeding. I don't like that, okay? But I will say, give him a round of applause on each other because Waffle Boy is the man we never deserved. And I think he deserves to be up here. So coming in at number three, the bronze medalist for this competition is going to be Honey Nut Cheerios. Honey Nut Cheerios, I did not expect this to even make it past the round. So for them to be here and get third place is fucking crazy. I made, I'm not even joking, my dumb bitch grandma, I made fun of her all the time. She'd be cackling. She offered me so many bowls of this and I was always like, <laughs> Oh no, I'm gonna walk to Dollar General and I'm going to get something else that's more tasty because you're old and you don't know what tastes good. Little did I know that bitch knew exactly what she was talking about. And honestly, this is good. I like, it. it's also just simple. Like it doesn't feel like I'm like destroying my mouth. Like obviously there's a shit ton of sugar in it. I'm not trying to say it's healthy, but it feels, it feels like a healthy alternative option. Like it has that nice nuance to it. It feels clean, but let's just get down to it. Who got number two and who is our finalist? Coming in at second place in the cereal tournament is The suspense is killing me. I feel like I'm still trying to figure out my head. Coming in at number two, I can't believe I'm saying this, is Cocoa Pebbles. I cannot believe, this is everything to me. I will still buy Cocoa Pebbles to this dying day, but it's just a sheer fact of the matter that it's a chocolate cereal. There's a billion chocolate cereals out there, but Cocoa Pebbles, it's just one of the best. And also it's the Flintstones, you know, it's not its own IP, which of course means our winner. And the most, uh, I, I cannot actually believe this, the most unexpected winner of all, the winner of the competition, Captain Crunch Berries. Oh my God. I seriously can't believe this. I. It's razor wire. It, it literally, if you eat this dry, it, it, it should be considered a fucking weapon. Eating this dry is so painful, but you add milk and oh my God, you get originality. It's sexy. It kind of dances around your tongue a little bit. There's all kinds of uncompromising flavors that are just bashing you in the face and they're just like, do you feel that? That's me, Captain Crunch, deep in your throat. So round of applause to Captain Crunch, oh my God. And then sadly, the other finalists, you will, you didn't make it. But I will say, Captain Crunch, I seriously can't believe this. And I am curious too, because people have been praising Captain Crunch berries since I can fucking remember. And I've always shooed them off as heathens, as godless creatures. But this is unbelievable. But what I want to know now is, do you agree with my opinion? Would you have done it any different way? Not that I really give a shit, because this is just not my tournament. But I'm curious how many people actually like Captain Crunch berries. It's pretty fucking impressive. Also, just want to end this video by saying that we did make a donation. We wasted a lot of serious here, a lot of milk. So we did make another uh, donation to my local food pantry, community food bank. So we understand that it, wasting food sucks, but we're trying to give back as well. But that's our video. And also uh, just want to say that all of the serial killers in this video were pieces of shit. I hope they all burn in hell. And that's why right now they're getting ready to die. See you guys. Oh. And there they go. So I just want to say thank you all so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Have a good morning.